In the coalition of criminals alongside Putin, North Korea is now involved. The Kim family, which keeps more than 20 million Koreans enslaved, our intelligence is recording not only the transfer of weapons from North Korea to Russia, but also the transfer of people. These are workers for Russian factories, replacing Russians killed in the war, and personnel for the Russian army. Essentially, this marks the participation of a second state in the war against Ukraine on Russia's side. Everyone can see the Iranian regime's support for Putin, as well as China's cooperation with Russia. The victory plan consists of five points in three confidential sections. Point one is geopolitical. Points two and three are military. Point four is economic. Point five of the victory plan is security. The points are calculated by time. The first four are for the time of the war, to end it. Point five is for the time after the war, to ensure security. The first is an invitation to NATO now. Thanks to the Kursk operation, we saw that Putin does not have enough strength to hold on when we press really hard. Therefore, the key to the implementation of this second point of the victory plan is successful continuation of the operations of the defense and security forces of Ukraine in certain areas of enemy territory in order to prevent buffer zones on our land. Ukraine is proposing to the United States, along with designated partners, including the European Union, of which Ukraine will be a part, and other global partners, a special agreement for the joint protection of Ukraine's critical resources, shared investment, and utilization of its economic potential.